Coach Mike McConathy, the Demon basketball coach, whose team is coming off a road win and starting a homestand. Two things that are music to your ears. Coach, uh, talk about the progress your team has made and uh, culminating with that win Monday night at Nichols. Well, I think the last four ball games, we've realized that we weren't competing as hard as we needed to. Still have a lot of areas of deficiency. We got to compete hard, but we got to rebound. We got to get 50 50 balls. Um, but we found a way to win finally. Uh, you know, we lost a tough game at McNeese to a team that was hungrier than we were. They came up with the last rebound of the game there in both instances, one on their end and one on ours when we had shot a ball to try to uh, win the game and they uh, got a tip in um, to put the game away uh, late there in the game. So 12.5 or 15 seconds to go. We had fought down back from a six point deficit or five point deficit with 1.18 to go and went ahead actually with 30 something seconds to go uh, getting a win, get to get uh, in position to win a game and we just you know didn't know how to win and didn't take care of the last rebound. But now in four straight games, you've come from big deficits to retake the lead or come close to it. Um, the fact that your team has shown that comeback ability has got to be reassuring. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, it's, it's impressive that we've been able to do that. And against Nichols, we were down 12, you know, and then we whittled away with it, did some things defensively, got some steals, got some easy buckets, got some rebounds. And in, in the McNeese game, we were down by uh, heavy numbers uh, and we came back and started rebounding and then the second half there was no rebounds to be found but we got the, got the lead and 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 were able to come back and lead a major part of the second half before they took over they went to zone and it created problems for us but then we leveled out we're able to get back in, into the game all right uh, your team at Nichols uh, won not only with the outstanding shooting but holding them to 0 for 11 from the field coming down the stretch that's defense by the Demons. You know, that's a good stat. I'm glad you told me that. I didn't know we'd ever held anybody 0 for 11. But, uh, you know, we did, we did a much better job and, you know, and, and doing a better job. We've got to learn to be the aggressor defensively. We've got to learn to be the aggressor offensively. By that, I mean running the floor harder, doing the little things that make a difference for us to be successful. How much of a breath of fresh air is it now, a couple of days later, the enthusiasm at practice, the focus, the, the, the sparkle in their eye, can you see all of that? Is it discernible? Uh, you know, I can hear it right now. You know, I mean, you know, before it would have been dead as, you know, be like church mice in here, you know, and, and nobody saying a word, you know, but I mean, you know, a little bit more vim and vigor about us, a little bit more aggressiveness, a little bit happier. If I were them, I'd been walking around downtown yesterday with my Superman shirt on that we got to win. You know, I mean, I understand that. I mean, it's been very, very stressful on everybody. And not just our basketball player, just not our athletic department. Other people that care about our program can see that we are, have been struggling and they can see can, the number of texts and, you know, all that other social media stuff that you get, people contacting people and saying, hey, you know, good women win for the demons. Let's get on a roll. Let's do this, that, or the other. Because they really realize and they appreciate that this team can be a good team but we can't continue to waller around in the problems that we've had and we've got to be the aggressor and go out and really compete. Dale Brown called this morning and he asked the question, the Demons going to win some more games? Well, I'm very hopeful we are. We'd like to start on Saturday against Southeastern here. Uh, we've just got to really compete and, you know, we've got to be hungrier than the other opponent and that's been the biggest problem. I mean, you know, there's just this, this uh, lackadaisical approach that you know that you got to want something you know if you hadn't had a meal in a long time and somebody put it out there and it was between you and somebody else you know you'd think you'd want to go get the meal you know i mean that generally what happens with the animals when you throw a piece of meat out there those animals go and they don't care who gets in their way human nature sometimes is to back off well it's time for us not to have human nature and be more like that animal and go get that piece of meat that's been thrown out there all right uh, the next uh piece of meat, if you will, is lion meat uh, Saturday, the Southeastern Lions, a team I know that preseason you uh, said had the chance to really emerge this year, and they've shown flashes of it uh, in conference play. They Talk just, about Southeastern. Uh, they really hammered Lamar, their place. I mean, you know, they're a 10-point deficit last night to Texas A&M Corpus Christi. I mean, Jay Ladner's won a national championship, and I don't care if it's in, in, in tiddlywinks, you win a national championship, you're somebody. And that guy knows how to coach. And I mean, he does a great job. He's got great players and Zay Jackson and Michael Hawkins. And, uh, 
You know, they, they really do a great job of shooting the basketball. Marcusville is a young freshman, had 16 points last night against uh, Corpus Christi, uh, eight for eight down the stretch in free throws. Uh, you know, did a really good, nice job for them. Uh, they're just really tough, and he just is a great coach. Uh, he does a lot of good things, and you know they're just um, offensively very efficient. And so that there comes to is can we guard better than they can guard? Because at times we're pretty efficient offensively. And of course, we need shot takers to be shot makers, and we need Zeke, Zeke Woodley to do what he did the other night, coupled by other people stepping up and making shots. And you know, to be honest with you, Zeke probably doesn't shoot the ball enough. He needs to be a guy that's shooting 20 plus shots a night. I know that sounds strange coming from me, but you know, in our situation where we're at, I think that that's, that would be imperative for him to be a guy. But he knows how to take good shots. A guy that's just going to go out and get 20, 25 put-ups, and they're not good shots, it's a different thing. And I'm hopeful that he will be in a position to where he'll understand that he's got to have touches all the way along, and sometimes he has a tendency to disappear for four or five or six minutes, and he's got to be the aggressor offensively to go get the ball. He came out very quickly uh, Monday night and established himself as a presence, and hopefully that'll continue. Something else happening Saturday, the Johnny Antoon battle for the paddle chi uh, chili cook-off. And I know through the years you've been uh, around a lot of these, you've, you've caught the uh, aroma wafting through the arena halls. Uh, uh, do you have any secrets or advice for the chili cookers? Saturday? You know, that's one of the things I hadn't learned to cook and I need to because it would be something that's pretty good. and. You know, I would say that you got to have it just hot enough, kind of like shooting, but not too hot to last the whole game. And you, you know, I think that, that would be a really good thing. That sounds really good. Now, if, if you had to pick the kind of meat to put in there, you know, some people would use deer sausage, beef, whatever, pork. Well, what I would want to do is, is the old deal when I was a little kid, we'd go to, we'd go to the store and we'd get a suicide drink and we'd put orange and grape and Coca-Cola and 7-Up at that time or Sprite in it. I think they ought to put a little bit of everything in there and see what would happen. Hmm. All right. Well, Coach Black and I will check that out and report back to you. Thanks, Coach.